big part of my story is this freedom from drug addiction, of being involved in gangs. God has delivered me from places that a lot of my friends didn't make it out of. And so I kind of wear it as a badge of honor, this, this freedom thing. But there was a season where I found myself really tempted and struggling again with some of like the, I guess the vices and the things that I thought I'd got complete healing from. And it's always really hard to, to struggle with something that you've kind of worn as a badge of honor saying that God's taken you from that. Then there was a season where I was really depressed and I found myself drinking more than I should. And I found myself tempted to smoke and do things that I used to do. I felt real distant. I felt like I couldn't pray, I didn't want to go to church because it felt like everything I'd built, my Christianity up until that point, felt like it was crumbling. Um, and in that season, I just felt so close to God and a sense of Him asking me, how much do you think I won on the cross? Like, how much do you think my, my sacrifice covered? Only when your things are good or is it in these moments? Came across Romans 8, 1, where it says uh, that there's no more condemnation in Christ Jesus. And this real compelling question, are you in Christ Jesus? Well, yes, Lord, yeah, I, I guess I am. I, I am in relationship with you. So therefore, why are you hanging on to condemnation? God was saying to me that condemnation, guilt isn't yours to hang on to. If you believe what I did on the cross and with my life is true, then hand it over to me. Leave all these things you're struggling with at the foot of the cross. And, and I did, and I, I got a real sense of freedom. And you know, days are still hard and, and there are still trials and temptations, but the fact that it's not on me to be perfect, but it's on me just receiving what's already been done in Christ for me is where my hope is.